Hello and welcome to another installment of LearningOSX.com. Uh, today we're going to uh, talk about how to reset file associations, uh, excuse me, file associations, uh, so that when you click on a file inside the finder, it opens up the proper uh, application. This actually has uh, a number of ramifications. Um, uh, when you list files in uh, the finder under the kind uh, column, it tells you the type of file it is, and also inside Spotlight. Spotlight uses the file association to know uh, when you're searching for a file uh, uh, how, to, uh, how to return the search results. So let's jump right into it. So I'm going to open up a Finder window, and it defaults to my home directory, and I've created a file called learningosx.mm. MM is a file format for uh, FreeMind, a mind mapping program, which is basically just a fancy outliner. Uh, and m what I would expect to have happen is when I click on learningosx.mm, it will open the FreeMind application. But if you look over here, you can see that in the list, the kind column, it's indicating that this is a Objective C++ source file. I have the uh, Xcode development tools installed on this uh, computer as well. So what that means is when I double click on this, it's going to open the wrong file. Um, not exactly what we want to have happen. In addition to that, if we go search on uh, Learning OSX, it's going to open up the. F it's going to show it as a. Well, again, it's going to show it as a. Uh, the, the top hit is going to be a mind map. Uh, I'm sorry, a, um, if I click on that, it'll open up uh, uh, Xcode, which we don't want to have happen. So what we're going to do here, actually the other way to look at this would be, uh, you know, again, you can search by uh, file extension. It's going to open up, uh, if I click on that, it's going to open up the wrong application. Not what we want to have happen. So let's close this file down and we'll show you how to do it. Uh, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to uh, uh, right click or uh, con uh, the uh, file and select get info. And then from here you have some information about the, uh, about the file. You're going to click open with and you're going to change this drop down list to the file that you believe this or the application that you believe this file should uh, be open with. In this case, FreeMind is already registered to open an MM file, so we can select that. But if it was a file that wasn't listed there, you can click Other and then browse to the appropriate application. So we'll select FreeMind, and then we'll select Change All, and then notice the Finder window on the right. It changes it to a mind map. So now, let's see if it's taken effect. If we do a search in Spotlight for mind map, it's going to show you all the mind maps, uh, including this uh, this one and uh, this one uh, that we just changed. Oh, I'm sorry, this one that we didn't change. <laughs> Wait a moment, I so we do kind mind map. Oh. The Spotlight database has not been updated yet, but rest assured, if you were to do this kind of search in Spotlight, at some point, the Learning OSX file would appear. So now, when you double click on the file, it opens up the appropriate program. And there you have it. That's another installment of Learning OSX. To find more tutorials uh, about getting the most out of your Mac, please visit us at learningosx.com.